Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project we're going to be installing a shade on this window. Now this shade is a very long shade. It's actually it's 106 inches long so it is a custom shade but I'm going to show you how to uh, what tools you're going to need and then how we're going to get it hung up. So here's an example of what kind of tools we're going to need. We're going to need a drill to drill a 1 16th pilot hole in the wood where we're going to mount it. And I might add, this is going to be an outside mount, just so you know. It's not going to be inside. All right, so a drill. We're going to need a driver to drive the, the screws into the wood. We're going to need a kit such as this, which has the different size drivers that we need. We may need a Phillips head drill bit. We could use a couple of screwdrivers, possibly. Of course, we're going to use some drill bits, a ruler, and of course a level to make sure we have everything level where we're going to mount it. Now right, so there's personal preference where you want to mount it. I happen to determine where mine is going to be mounted. So we're going to bring the brackets up there. We're going to put a mark on it. We're going to pre-drill it with a 1 16th inch drill bit and then we'll mount our two brackets on the left side and right side. Now when you put the, if you mount it uh, onto the drywall you may need a, uh, a, a drywall anchor kit such as this to install it, but that's if you're screwing it into drywall, then you'll need this. We're going into wood, so we're not going to need it, but you may need this when you install the valance because the valance uh, brackets will probably be into the drywall itself. But we'll see how that goes as we proceed. All right, so let's get up there, let's drill our holes, and let's mount these two brackets before we go any further. Okay, now you're probably wondering what is an inside mount and an outside mount. Let me go up there and I'm going to show you on the window itself what's an inside mount and what is an outside mount. All right, so let me just get up on the wall and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, an outside mount is when the bracket itself is either in the drywall, such as this, or if it's into the, to the woodwork, such as this. That's an outside mount. An inside mount would be if you had a regular standard window and it was mounted inside the window. As you can see, there's a replacement window, so these can't be mounted on the inside on a, as, a, as, on a, as on a traditional window that's not a replacement window. They would go inside this area right here, and the screws would go in through the side this way into the window itself. But as you can see, it's just not going to work on this one. It has to be an outside mount. All right, so let's grab our drill, and let's put the bracket up. Okay, so now we put our bracket up where we determined it's going to be mounted. We take our pencil and we put two little marks where we're going to drill, here and here. And now we'll grab our drill and we'll pre-drill these holes. Remember, it's a 1 16th inch drill bit. Okay, let's grab our screws and let's screw that bracket up. Okay, let's hold our bracket up. We're going to catch one screw. We're not going to go real tight yet. Now we'll get our second screw in there. Now you can use a Phillips head screwdriver or you could use a socket depending on what you prefer. I use a socket just so it doesn't strip out. Now we have both of them caught. We'll snug them down until they're snug. Okay, and that bracket is now done. Let's go over on the other side. Now, I just want to point this out. We're going to center the bracket here. We're going to measure from the... Let me get a ruler. I'll show you. Okay. All right, just so we make sure that the brackets are actually in the correct location. We're going to measure from the ceiling to the center of the bracket and we have 14 and 1 8 of an inch to the center of this bracket so we'll make sure the other one is 14 and 1 8 inches as well. Okay next we're going to put our second bracket up. We're going to measure from the ceiling down to the top or the center of the bracket as we did before and we're going to be 14 and 1 8 inches which is exactly where we are now. We're going to put our mark here and here. 
and now we'll remove it and we'll do, do our two pilot holes. So let's grab. Okay, we'll screw this in partially, not all the way. Remember, just snug in. All right, we'll get our second screw in there. Pull our bracket in the location. And now that we have it where we need it to be mounted, we'll screw them tight. And that's it, our second bracket is on. All right, let's get our shade and let's put our shade up. Okay, next we put our shade in that one corner over there. We take it, we push it, and then we slide it up into the bracket until it snaps in. We want to make sure that the chain portion of it is facing down because that's the way we need to, uh, to pull it, of course. All right, and once it's snapped in and it's nice and tight, we can unwrap the chain itself and make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to before we mount the chain and the bracket to the wall. All right. All right, it works just the way it's supposed to. All right, next we're going to take our, our bracket here. We're going to mount it on the wall because this bracket here is a safety bracket. It needs to be mounted, otherwise it doesn't, uh, doesn't work properly. All right, after we mount that to the wall, we'll come up here and we're going to mount the valance on top of it. Now, this is personal preference if you want to mount the valance on it. If you don't want to mount the valance and you want to leave it that way, you can do it. But the brackets themselves mount three inches in from the corner three inches in from that corner, and then we split the difference in the middle and put the brackets up here. There's four brackets, just so you know. But we're gonna decide whether we're gonna put that valance on there or not. But for now, let's get that cable attached to the wall. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount our chain and the bracket that comes supplied with it to the wall. We brought our shades down, so we have the, the distance from here to here, so that when you, when you move the shade up and down, it doesn't interfere with the bracket that's going to be mounted here. So you want to mount it in a location that's not going to interfere with the blinds moving. Uh, this is a safety type chain. You can see right here, there's a little tiny small plastic piece right there. That plastic piece has got to be under tension, otherwise the shade themselves will not operate. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. This piece fits in there like that, and then what we do is we just pull this down and then the shade will operate the way it's supposed to. If this is up and it doesn't have the right tension on it, the shade will not function, and it's a safety precaution so that children don't get hurt by accident um, playing with the shade. All right, so now that we have our, our bracket, we're gonna determine where we're gonna mount it. I put it in here like this. Bring it down to the location you have in mind. Make sure when you put the bracket in there, you have the tension on this piece here, it's gotta be half the distance of the opening or greater. So it has to be down here like that in order to release the chain so that you can open and close the uh, shade. All right, so let's put this in our location right here. Make sure it doesn't interfere with anything, which it doesn't. We're gonna mark it like that. Now this one is an outside mount being mounted on here. So we need to determine if there's a stud behind the wall here. So we're going to drill a small pilot hole, 1 16th of an inch, and we'll see if we hit a stud. If we hit a stud, then we're just going to screw the screws directly into the stud, and we're all done. If this is hollow underneath there and there's no stud underneath there, then we'll need to install mollies, but we'll see how that goes when we're ready to get to it. All right, so let's grab our drill and we'll drill this. Now this is the outside mount that I told you about. There is also an inside mount, such as this one right here. If you are mounting it inside the frame, this would be mounted in the frame, such as this, and then that would connect up to this piece right here. But this is not the one we're using today. We're using the outside mount. So let's drill those holes, and we'll see how that, how that goes if we hit a stud. Okay, we put our shade up out of the way. We're gonna drill a very small 1 16th inch pilot hole right here to see if we hit a stud in the wall. Okay, so here, 
we are hitting a stud, so we do not need to install a drywall molly here. So we're just going to pre-drill that hole in the stud about halfway in. All right, we're going to drill our next hole here as well. Nice and slow. As you can see, we're hitting the stud again. Okay, so now we have our two holes drilled. Let's grab our screws and mount that bracket. Okay. All right. Okay, let's get our bracket and let's attach it on here. We're going to hold the bracket in position. We're just going to snug the screw in a little bit. And before we tighten it all the way, we'll grab our second screw. And we'll catch our second screw. Now you don't want to tighten it too tight. This is only plastic and we don't want to crack it. So now that this is snug, let's get our screw to put that bracket on here and we'll be all finished with that chain. Okay, now that we have the bracket mounted to the wall itself and it's snug, we're just going to take the, the uh, chain assembly and we're going to put it onto that little piece right there. Now, if you put it on there, you'll see it doesn't really reach. You need to get in here with a small screwdriver. You grab this piece here and you just pull it down like that and you slide this over the top of that screw where the screw is supposed to go, just like that. Now, once you have it in place, just hold it there, grab your screw, you need three hands sometimes to do this, just so you know. Pull it down. Over the top like that. Grab the screw that comes provided with the hole down. And we're going to put it in here. And we're just going to screw it in until it's snug. It doesn't have to be real tight. Remember, you just screw it into plastic. Okay, once it's snug, it's on there nice and tight. Let's make sure that it works properly. Doesn't interfere with the, with the shade going up and down at all. Works just the way it's supposed to. Okay, so that's that. Let's talk about that balance up on the top here. Now, the valance is personal preference, whether you want to put the valance on or not. Uh, to be truthful with you, I'm not sure if I'm going to even use the valance here, because as you can see, these curtains do close in front of it. But now this is personal preference if you choose to mount the valance up there. But let me explain to you how you're going to do it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to mount our valance up in here. And the way you would do that is you take your bracket and you either mount your bracket up here on the top of the drywall itself and then you would see where the where the valance would come to or you could mount it down a little lower such as this right here and then you could have the valance at, at a lower height that's personal preference as i said i'm not going to do it right now um, i'm going to leave it off for now until we see how it looks with the curtains on here and then we'll decide whether we're going to use it or not but basically you would mount it three inches in from this side here three inches in from the other side and then you would take your second bracket and you would mount there's two more brackets and you would mount them in the center, dividing it evenly between left and right side. And basically you just drill them in here, just as we did when we mounted this bracket up here on the frame itself. Two screws right here, mounted on there, and then the valance slides right in there. But that's it. That's personal preference. Whether you want to do something like that, it's up to each individual to do it, whatever they choose. All right. But as I said, I'm not going to do it right now myself. But that's it. This job is done. And we're on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.